is Damien Rockefeller coming to you from the center of the financial beast in this world, central London. Uh, I'd just like to thank you all for watching my last two broadcasts. These things are not easy to get to you because my family do not approve of me speaking to the peasantry, to the human beings who pollute and make this world a smelly place. I've been asked by Charlie Veach to help out in this series of videos called The Chronicles of the Noble Lie. And for those of you who do not know what the noble lie is, the noble lie is what we tell to you guys to keep you in your place whilst we, the rulers of this planet, can go about our business unharassed and not bothered by your little cries for freedom and for liberty and other such ridiculous nonsense. I think it's important that I can maybe explain to you a little bit about how the universe actually works. There is no such thing as good or evil, but we do live in a duality universe where one side will create the other side. You may have seen jokes of uh, intelligence when you do a stupid act somewhere else in the world, someone does a very intelligent act. It is the same with light and dark, with the sun and the moon, with the goddess and with Lucifer. Anyway, just have one more moment for Lucifer. Thank you. Lucifer, the morning star, the bearer of light, the right-hand man of the goddess, the tempter of mankind. Not a very bad person, but in fact the anomaly needed to keep this system working. The job of Lucifer, my lord, is to test you, to offer you things, to tempt you with money and power and sex and separation from your fellow man. These things are easily achieved by appealing to your ego, by appealing to your desire to have more money, more fame, more power, more control. Yes, there cannot be good without evil. Every time we do what you would call an evil deed, such as a mass vaccination campaign or the bombing of Iraq or a false flag terror attack, and we have a few planned for the upcoming months in 2010 as we approach the eschaton, the singularity, at the end of this age, before the age of Aquarius, we need to wrap up a few things. And my grandfather David, he's 93 this year, he will maybe not be around forever. So there are things we want to implement. Well, my fellow human beings, this is a game, much like a chessboard. The checkerboard you see in the floors of our temples, the Freemasonic temples, which we infiltrated many decades ago. You have black and white, black and white, black and white. It's always a choice. There is not one without the other. And our job is to create the black so that you, the human beings, can create the white. All evil brings about the good, but it is very fun doing evil. And also we use magic, we use the occult, we use Kabbalistic practices, we use sigils and sorcery to bring about this artifice as we move towards the androgynous, machine-like, robo-sapien world which we've all been programmed to want. You may ask, do I have a soul? Do you have a soul? Are you a spirit? Why are you not trying to stop us right now? Why are you sitting there watching YouTube videos when you could be forming some sort of group to attempt a resistance? to our plans. Maybe there is an element inside you which quite likes the evil that we put into this world. Maybe there's a part of you who would like to join the elites and the ways we have much better health care, transport, housing arrangements, the air we breathe is not polluted by chemtrails. Our houses have filtration systems, our cars have filtration systems, and as many of you will know, we have the healthcare abilities to remove toxins from our bodies. So we laugh at all the cancers in the world, but it helps us to depopulate. Speaking of laughter, we do things for the lulls. We laugh at this grand chessboard, the black and white of which I spoke about. It's the game. It's black versus white. You, it's good versus evil. Evil versus good. You pick your side and you go accordingly. Which is why many of you will never understand the dark side and the great appeals to it. 
It is all one big game. Reality, this 3D world is an illusion. There is no way I can hurt you. This is a playground. You are an aware, a bundle of an awareness. You are a perception bubble and you are moving through this playground. The playground of the chessboard, which is why we do like to deck those Masonic floors and many banks in the Western world with the checkerboard. It's all a game. Money's a game. But let me tell you something quite disturbing. Yes, there is a current of, um, there is a, an undercurrent of, uh, shall we say, the uh, sexual relations with children, which many of my colleagues seem to really enjoy. Myself, personally, I like to steer away from such things. Because of my profile in assistance to the love police, I cannot be outed as someone who dabbles in the dark arts of raping children. This is not something I wish to be seen doing. Why do my colleagues like to have sex with children? These children are closer to the absolute, they are closer to the source. There is great magical power to be had from having sex with little boys and little girls. The innocence, their blood, their virginity, these things are prized for a reason, for they hold great power. I only advise you to read some, wor some of the words of Aleister Crowley if you doubt or feel upset at what I am saying. Power does have its dark side, and many of our leaders have had relationships with children. This is a very bad thing, many of you are saying, but in an illusion, in a 3D holographic world where you are the perception of Lucifer or the goddess reporting back to the One, how can pedophilia be bad? It is merely your perception. Back in ancient Greek times, my ancestors, Plato, my great, 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 great uncle Aristotle and Socrates. These people had little boys and little girls and they had oral sex, vaginal sex, anal sex with these children and they were not labeled as evil. It is your perception which merely labels these things as evil. And right now, currently in Aberdeen, we have a big scandal regarding a girl with Down syndrome called Holly Gregg. I myself have not looked into this deal, into this case a very, in very much depth, but I can assure you where there is smoke, there is usually fire, and they are trying to keep this quiet. Anyway, Charlie Veach asked me to help out with the Chronicles of the Noble Lie, and we start off by taking you to Camden, where Charlie and Bernardo did attempt to spread some joy, light, and love in the Stables Market in Camden, an area renowned around the world for its free thinking and its hippie qualities and its non-conformity to corporate interests. Unfortunately, as you are probably aware, this has all been shattered as a stupid illusion. The Security Industry Authority accredited security thugs there did use physical force they did say some very offensive things, and they did not act in a manner which one would think would be worthy of being given extra police powers of detention, of issuing fines, of um, searching people's houses, which very soon the British and American governments will be giving to private citizens. Welcome to the Matrix. Welcome to the game. Welcome to us hiring half the poor to kill the other half. It's the way we like to do things. But do not lose hope, my dear human beings, because we are doing this for your spiritual awakening. How can you possibly understand the evils of power unless you see them explicitly? As I said in my last work, The Consciousness War, many people are merely too stupid to understand the issues at stake, and their profanity will be cast aside in a mass depopulation program to bring about the sacred. We will not need very many of them, but we will need you. So please, carry on your works with the truth movement. You will find, though, that our brainwashing and our hypnosis using the mainstream media is very powerful. But what makes this more special is the people you do manage to wake up. They are doubly gifted, because not only are they intelligent, they have also managed to escape a very powerful computer program, which 99% of people Approximately the number we wish to cull will not be able to escape. 
anyway, onwards with the privatization of law enforcement, onwards with the FEMA camps, onwards with 2012. See you at December 21st. Lots of love and praise be to the Dark Lord Lucifer. Thank you.